Yes, it's still August, but the Festival of Lights staff already busy checking light bulbs, oiling trailers. But there's one question facing the people that drive Springfield Road. Will the construction be done in time? Good Thursday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Janice Rumpholtz. Thanks for staying up late with us. Now, that road is still plastered with construction cones. Madison Porter joins us in the studio with what we can expect as the holiday season is actually inching closer in tonight's top story. Madison. Tyler and Janice, the good news is East Peoria Public Works expects the Springfield Road project will be done at the beginning of November, just in time for a few new surprises for the Festival of Lights 40th anniversary. Construction crews along Springfield Road are wrapping up, replacing curbs and gutters, and will soon start to smooth things out. It's just a matter of keeping on top of our contractors and, and, and keeping everything in line, and so far it's working good. The Orangefield Road is expected to be back to normal 27 days before cars line up for the winter wonderland. That is with no holdups. Luckily, the superintendent of roads doesn't see any delays in the near future. I think we're past all the excavation stuff, so that type of work is more susceptible to weather and to uh, surprises that are found when you dig things up. And that's good news for the Festival of Light staff that has a couple of surprises in store for 40 years, 40 floats. We wanted to do something that um, kind of highlights our history and where we've been, so that would be the wreath behind us. has kind of been the slogan and the motto or one of the big pieces of festival for a long time. Corey Brown says they've been working on that float since June, and the building's parking lot will start to fill up with the other 39 within the next month. He says volunteers and staff work diligently for months to prepare the celebration that brings together generations worth of Christmas light lovers. Parade night is my favorite night of the year. You know, you can really feel a whole town of 25,000 folks come together for one night. There is no backup plan in case construction takes longer than expected, but per usual, the Festival of Lights Parade is scheduled for the Saturday before Thanksgiving, and the Winter Wonderland drive-thru will open that following Friday.